Yep, September 2. Been a while since I turned this camera on. So what we got here is a 1978 Toro 826. Kaola equipment. They're still in business in Worcester. So, uh, yeah, I got the engine out here. I'm going to show you what happened here. This is a strange one, and I've only run into this one other time in my life. So you come around the uh, magnets. That's pretty much when the unit's going to spark. Let me figure out direction of rotation. I'm going by the curvature of the blades. Probably this way, maybe. That pulls it clockwise facing the front. So here we are, bottom dead center. I'm going opposite way of rotation. That's all she wrote. She won't go any further. So we'll come around. Everything's spinning nice and smooth. Oop. Got some breathing going on there. Valve opened. Boop. About 350 degrees of rotation. And she locks up. Last time I ran into this problem was on a generator. It was carbon. There was so much carbon on the top of the piston that it, the piston was coming up, hitting the top of the cylinder head and compressing and it wouldn't move. Which is weird. I've never seen that. That was the first time I saw that was on that generator. So it was, and I peeled it off. It looked like an eyebrow. It was, just, <laughs> it was like a quarter of an inch thick. It's crazy. I guess that's a combination of running, you know, generators typically see stale gas all the time. So I'm figuring stale gas and they sit a lot. Now, this thing's been sitting. I worked on this thing three years ago and my I was supposed to get it going for my brother. I had it running. It was running great. And then all of a sudden, like a light switch, that running like crap. It had no consistency with the way it would run. It was up, down. Sometimes it wouldn't start. Sometimes it would start. And then one day I gave it a pull. And, just like that. That was it. Couldn't pull it over, so I thought something mechanical failed, you know, so the thing sat here since 2017. I'm just getting to it now, three years later, and because I got too much crap in here, as you can see. Where was I going with that? So, yeah. Anyways, it's sat a long time, so that's that's what I'm getting at. The, uh, the carbon kind of, I guess it kind of swells up with age. I've never seen that happen before. I guess it's plausible. I'm just going to tear the head off. It's easy enough. 30 seconds to get this thing off. Oh, side valve engine. We'll see if I'm right. If it's a carbon. It no rhyme or reason for that long one being there. Probably supposed to go with long ones. It's probably supposed to go here. I would imagine. Yep, yeah, that's a short one. Yep, yeah, that's what it was. These are all short. Should be longer. Anyways. <laughs> Guess I should have taken that exhaust off first. Though. Holy crap, yeah, I was right. I just gotta pull this exhaust off real quick. Like magic. Two seconds later, the exhaust is off. Ta da! Wait till you guys see this. Look at that. There's a pile of stuff in there. Let me turn this thing over. Should it come up? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's exactly like the generator. This is actually worse. Worse than a generator. At the time, I was trying to figure out, like, was there a gasket that friggin' got in there somehow? But it's just, it's just carbon. It's insane. Yeah, see, now it turns over, no problem. We can go right around in a circle. It's working great. Valves are opening. Valves are closing. How's this motor looking? It's a 1978, so it's a little 40 years old. Looks pretty damn good to me. Let me clean all this crap out of here first, though. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. That was pretty interesting. If you ever come across an engine four-stroke, you can't pull over. Don't don't write it off right away. Pull that cylinder head. Seven-eighths of a turn in each direction, and it, and it just stops. That's what it is. It's freaking amazing, huh? Amazing amount of crap. So. Yeah. <laughs> Carbon. Gotta love it. And then a little bird seed. There was some Mises that deposited some corn inside the carburetor there. So we had a little of that going on. So I pretty much pulled this engine for nothing. I could have left that on. I was expecting the worst. But once I got that cover off, I started getting deja vu from five years ago. I said, hey, I've seen this before. So now you've seen it. <laughs> pretty strange. The head gasket looks pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to get this cleaned up.
Just a little short video to uh, keep you entertained, I guess. Oop, there goes all the bird seed. There's a little piece of corn. This thing was at my dad's house. He likes to feed the deer. Just so happens that the deer eat the same thing the mice and the squirrels eat. So, and chipmunks. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you on the next one.